welcome back everybody. Uh, we are back here on um, Backwoods Lake today. Um, I got back in here and it's <laughs> the loggers came back and opened up the trail. So I didn't have to drive like five, six miles back in here with the four wheeler. So we got some exciting. Uh, I was going to make it out today, but I'm out here by myself. I'm just going to hopefully catch my limit quick and get on home. But uh, we're going to do something interesting in the kitchen uh, using Funyuns. Cooking fish and Funyuns was something I seen on a video in the past, and I had to try it. And it turned out awesome. We ju we're just going to show you how to do that. It's super easy, simple. So let's get out there and get some fish. All right, I finally got these fish cornered. Got out here and did some forward facing sonar technology here and finally got them dragged down. They're already moving out of here. Good Lord. I haven't even got the lure down there yet. Hopefully I can get them to stop here for a second. They are very spooky. There we go, I moved holes. Oh, and they're stacked down there. All right. Get down there. They're staying here. Well, it took about 10 holes drilling around them to finally get them to stick somewhere. There we go. Oh, got them. Ah, there we go. I got an eating size crappie here. About nine, nine and a half inch or so. Oh, and just like that, they started to disappear. You got one flickering down there. I don't know. They kind of took off. I'll just go down there just to. See if one will come in quick or not. Yeah, nope. See where they went. There's a pike down there he's chasing around too. I've seen them so. There's some big pike in here because I don't have any pike gear with today. I was just coming out here to catch these crappies for our little fish fry tonight. We had uh, moved to a different part of the lake. That school I was chasing was just moving way too quick. And I came over here and there was just tons of fish all up and down this break. So we can get down there and see what they are. We do got the Vexlar Scout with uh, underwater camera. But I'm just gonna go down there with the hook first and see what happens. There's one coming up. Come on, buggy. Come on, little bugger. Ah. 
There we go. All I did is I dropped it down that school, got them fired up. Sucker's fighting pretty good. Aha! Uh -huh. Actually, a nice bluegill. That'll work. Bluegills, crappies. Pretty much taste identical. They like say we just need them for this uh, fish fry tonight with the funyuns, so just throw them on the ice. Might be a bunch of big bluegills down there, I don't know. In the past, they've got a lot of 10 inch bluegills out here. There we go. There. This one definitely ain't as big, but he's fighting pretty hard. Oh, it's crappie. Actually, not a bad crappie. We'll throw him up too. Another nine inch or so. Of course, I got my favorite color spoon on here. I got a little pinhead minnow, the yeah, Wonder Bread color. They say I was using that Tika Flash a lot earlier this season and uh, I ended up losing all my Tika Flashes, the pike, all my Wonder Bread color ones anyways. Oh, but we should... See you down there. Come on, come up and eat it. Oh, here Come on. Seems to be really getting fired up as I drop it down in there and then I just raise it up and really work that bait hard. They're starting to move right now though. And I got three fish left down there. There we go. Oh, I'm wrapped around something. Oh, oh I'm wrapped around here. Oh no. There we go. I got it. This one's a nicer fish. Oh, what a nice bluegill. Heck yeah. Just like that, they're all gone. I'm finding them again. Let's see, we'll get down there quick. They're moving around a little bit slower in this part of the lake. They're still moving. They throw some quality bluegills and crappies on the ice. It's worth moving around on, especially on a day like today. It's like 47 degrees. There we go. They already fired up. Come on. Oh, he slack me. Wasn't quick enough. There we go. There we go, buddy. Another crappie, another eater size. A lot of nine inches in here. Well, I used to come out this lake and catch a pile of 12, 13s. It's been a long time since we got them like that out here. I know in the summertime this lake kind of gets pressured a little bit. Wintertime it gets a few people here and there, but not so bad. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Come on, I see you coming after it. Ah, oh, and I swung and missed. That's it, buddy. Come on. Oh, more showed up. That's a bigger mark. If it's a pike, he'll probably bite me off. Well, he's looking. Ah, oh, he took off. I think that was a big pike. A lot of the fish left when that thing came in. He's back. He's back. He's gonna hit it, he's gonna hit it, I think. Is 
Come on, buddy. Just get it. That would be so cool to catch that big one on this light tackle. Won't be the first time we've got big ones out here. Big pike out here through the ice chasing crappies. We've gotten up to 37 inches with white tackle before. Come on. Yeah, pike just, he's kind of, he's sitting up about maybe halfway down. There we go. Hopefully he doesn't try grabbing this fish. Oh shoot, he just chased it. Oh. There we go, I got the crappie up before he got it. He's down there, he was just below the ice. Another nice eating sized crappie. These nine, 10 inches are perfect for the frying pan. There we go. There, there's our last one. Well, we're gonna get off the ice. And we're gonna get back. Uh, I'm gonna get back home, get these cleaned up, and I will see you in the kitchen with Alice. We got back. I got back to the kitchen. Got the fish cleaned up. Had an awesome day on the ice. But we're gonna cook them up using funyuns. This is something we tried just a couple weeks ago, and it turned out awesome. The uh, funyuns do a little extra. It gives a little bit of flavor, but um, it gives it a lot of crunch. The crunch is awesome with it. So what I do is I just throw them in a gallon Ziploc bag and get a rolling pin to them. So when you roll them out with a rolling pin, you want to get that real nice and smashed up really good. Nice and fine, just like a regular fish breading. Pretty simple to do. Oop, better close the bag or else we're going to have funnies all over the kitchen. Now that I got them all smashed up, nice and fine, I'm gonna take a little bit of catch and cook. Put a little bit of that in there. You can use flour for this or any other fish breading for that matter. I just prefer this. You don't have to put a lot in there. There, that should be plenty. And just mix this up. I'm gonna say I seen this on a video one not too long ago and I was like I gotta try that. After trying it we actually really like it. We've done the, we've done all kinds of different breadings with cornflakes and never tried any like chips. I think we tried potato chips one time but it's been a long time ago probably but the funny is actually this was this was really good. As the oil's heating up, I just took the fish fillets and put them in a, some milk. I let them like soak in there for five minutes or so before I put them in the breading. It actually sticks to it a lot better. I like using milk. Some people use beer, some people use egg or whatever, but milk seems to work pretty good for us. So Now that the oil's almost preheated there, I'm going to take the fish. Shake the milk off a little bit, throw them in the bag. Shake it up. I like to leave it sit in the bag for about two minutes or so. Now let's it soak up some of that flavor and stick to it a little better. That spray smells really good. You smell like funyuns. Who ever would have thought using funyuns, but I don't know. Whoever thought of it first. I have to thank them a lot because this is good. I'll let those sit a couple of minutes and we'll get them in the oil.
These sands look none to me. I'm gonna get them on a paper towel, let the oil soak up a little bit. The whole kitchen smells like onions right now. It's really making me hungry, actually. Get them on here, we're gonna let them cool down. Then we're gonna get the taste tester in here to let us know how they turned out. Well, we got the official taste tester here. The one and only Asa Hazel. You wanna try it out? All right, what do you think? Is that good? That's really good. What do you think? Another bite? Do you approve? She approves. Well, we're gonna sit down and have supper here, but thanks for watching today's video. And what do you think, Asa? You gonna say bye? Say bye bye. There you go. Well, thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed uh, today's video and definitely try this. If you, uh, if you tried in the past, leave a comment. If you haven't, let us know some of the stuff that you've done in the past. There's always something new out there, but, right? <laughs> Thanks. But there's always something new out there and uh, there's so many good ways to cook fish. We just enjoy trying new things. And hopefully, hopefully you try this one too. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Say we're going to keep more videos coming your way and who knows what's going to be on them. So if you liked what you just seen, want to see more, then join us along on all of our adventures by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget, get out there and break the chain of routine.